Hi, it's me again. Today I'm going to explain another very simple uh, entrance examination question. Uh, this time from Kyoto University, another prestigious uh, university in Japan. And the question is very simple. You have to find a pair P and Q, which are both prime numbers that would fit the criteria of P to the power of Q plus uh, Q to the power of P uh, equals to another prime number. So looking at this formula or equation, um, you can simply guess that either P or Q must be 2 because if P or Q, like neither of P nor Q were 2, which uh, means that they are both odd numbers because they are both prime numbers, right? Odd number to the power of odd number would be an odd number, right? And odd number to the power of another odd number is an odd number. So odd number plus odd number would never be a prime number because it would be an even number. That m means it, would, it is dividable by 2. So either P or Q must be 2 which is the only even number prime number, so 2 and the other must be an odd number prime number. As we can guess either P or Q is 2, we can simply rewrite this time, let's say Q equals 2, and then we can just swap around after we find out all the P's, right? Um, so let's rewrite this. And you know, let's just start by putting some numbers into P. So let's start from the smallest prime number. Well, 2 cubed equals 9 plus 8, so 17. We found a pair, right? So uh, 3, 2 is one pair. Let's go on to the next one. 57. It may seem like a prime number, but it is not because if you add every integer of a number, then it would, uh, and then if it's dividable by 3, then this number is dividable by 3. That's a known fact, and this time 5 plus 7 is 12, and 12 is obviously dividable, dividable by 3, so 57 is dividable by 3. So this one uh, wouldn't fit. Uh, so let's go on for the next one. 177. This time to 1 plus 7 plus 7 is 15, and which is dividable by 3. So 177 is also dividable by 3. 7 doesn't fit. Let's go on for 11. 2169. This time too, 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 9 is 18. It doesn't, I mean, it's dividable by 3, so it doesn't fit the uh, criteria, prime number criteria. Um, so as you go on, maybe you can do 13, 17 too, but you get to notice that other than this uh, 2, 3 pair, or 3, 2 pair, all, uh, all the sum of 2 and another prime number set would end up being something dividable by 3, so something times 3, something times 3, this is also something times 3, and this is also something times 3. So what if this is the only pair, so 3, 2 are the, I mean, is the only pair that fit this criteria, and if you can prove that, you know, some, uh, if P is larger than 3, then the, this sum of P to the power of Q plus two, uh, Q to the power of P would be dividable by 3. So if you can prove that, then you can adequately say that this is the only pair that fits the criteria, right? So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so let's prove that if we put a prime number which is larger than 3, then this summation would end up being something dividable by 3. So in this case, we're going to rewrite p into... Uh, 
and n is any uh, integer. So any natural number can be rewritten into one of these forms, right? So let's say 20, then 20 can be rewritten as 6 times 3 plus 2, right? So this, these forms covers every single natural number. And because this time it's a prime number, then we can get, I mean, p, we want to say p equals to one of these. So because p is a prime number, we can get rid of 6n because it's dividable by 6, obviously. This is dividable by 2, this is dividable by 3, so this is dividable by 2 also. So we only have to think about 6n plus 1 and 6n plus 5. And because of because the modular will be the exactly the same, we can re re rewrite this into 6n minus 1. This doesn't mean that 6n plus 1 and 6n minus 1 would always be a prime number, but it would cover every single prime number that we want to discuss about. So if we can prove that if we put 6n plus 1 to into this one and then 6n minus 1 into this one, and if you add them together, uh, if, if I mean, if we add them together, and if that is dividable by 3, then we proved our point, right? So let's put these two into it. Okay, so let's look into 2 to the power of 6n plus 1. So because we can rewrite 2 as 3 minus 1, we can do that. 6n plus 1. And we, we just take off the brackets here. 3 to the power of 6n plus 1. Plus into like each part like these you get to notice that every single part includes at least one multiplication of three that means these parts are divisible I mean dividable by three so we can rewrite into something three times something we don't know the amount of something but we we know that it can be rewritten into this form. And what will be left is minus 1 to the power of 6n plus 1. And 6n plus 1 would always be an odd number because 6n is an even number, plus 1 would be make it odd number. So what will be left is minus 1. So as for 6n plus 1, we can just simply add. So 36n squared plus 12n plus 1 plus 3s minus 1. So it, these ones would eliminate each other, and the rest can also, I mean, can be written as 3, 12, n squared, plus 4, n, plus s. So we prove that it's divisible, I mean, dividable by 3. And exactly the same thing can be said for a minus 1, 2, because uh, if it if we say that, uh, let's rewrite into this to minus 1, minus 1, I mean, it doesn't really change that much, right? 6n and this will be 6n, um, 6n minus 2, minus 3. It just differs a little bit, but what will be left here is also 6n minus 1. And because every single part is dividable by 3, and the leftover is minus 1 to the power of 6, and it's minus 1, which is also an odd number. So ex exactly the same thing can be said. So 3s minus 1, and these would eliminate each other. And in this case, it, this part will be minus. But still, it's three, it can, this plus this can be written as... 12n squared minus 4n plus s. So 
it doesn't uh, both plus one and minus one. Uh, if we put that into p, then we proved that it would end up being something dividable by three. So, therefore, we can adequately say that the only pairs that would meet the criteria of the question is p q is two, three. So that's it for today. I hope. Uh, can you see the? Can you see that? Okay. That's it for today. I hope the explanation was clear. If not, please tell me. Okay. Goodbye.